Um, another another uh, a valuable tool, I think, that really has helped us, and uh, maybe many of you have this in your, in your factories, I don't know, but I think one of the biggest fallacies that we have is we, we spend, it seems like, a lot of time collecting measurements. You know, are we collecting the right measurements? Are we collecting the right met metrics? And are they timely? And if, if they're not timely, I, mean, I think that's the thing that really kills you. I think what, what I see a lot of times is is people will give a report weekly or monthly, and then they'll look at the report and, oh, we got a problem in this area. And then you go down the assembly floor and you ask Sally Joe, you know, what happened to this assembly on, you know, one month ago? Well, are you kidding me? She's not going to remember. No remembers anything uh, that, from that long ago. We actually have a system that we put in place many years ago, and we saw, you know, results um, pretty much right away because the way we attacked it. We have a, we have a system that actually we, we record in process every defect. It goes in a statistical process control module. It does an automatic run chart, looks for statistically out of control conditions, upper and lower control limits. It flags those immediately. Process stops. No other product is built until a manufacturing engineer, quality engineer, or quality, a quality assurance representative and a manufacturing engineer go down there and resolve that problem, get to the root cause, and allow that process to continue. Fix the process and continue. Now, are there, there are bigger problems sometimes where we all know that you, you can't fix them in 30, 32 seconds, right? But we, what we do is those go on a, on a, on a corrective action uh, list that we uh, address in our manufacturing functional reviews, and they, and they drive that to, to, to resolve the problem. Now, sometimes they are bigger. You might have to do some little workarounds or change your process to accommodate for something that you've got going in your process. But that real-time uh, feedback, I can't, I can't stress how important that really is. And I think that process for us is, is probably one of the, the, the single things that's really helped us on the quality side. Um, we'll go on to the next. Uh, this is kind of like our, our systems here, what we use. You know, we've... This is kind of a, a system now. I guess now probably most people have this, but you know, decades ago, this is probably was a discriminator for us, not not anymore. So, you know, discriminators change all the time, right? But you know, this is a completely seamless system. You know, from the, for engineering input all the way through our, you know, doing our financials to the DoD, and it's on every desktop. Every, it's available to everyone. And it's, uh, and it's and it's very integrated. And we integrate everything in, right into our manufacturing execution system. It's paperless work instructions downstairs. Uh, our manufacturing execution system on the, on the assembly floor, you know, does our, our labor tracking, our whip tracking, and it does that SPC analysis I was talking about, that real-time SPC analysis. So very powerful tool. I think it really helps us, you know, manage our business. And uh, without these systems, and, and I don't think we'd be as successful as we are. <laughs> 